Central Kentucky's Rock Station 107.3, the point it's locals only. Sunday night, Louis Bringer's on the show. Now, Louis's a songwriter here in our community in Elizabethtown. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and uh, what songs you like to write and that kind of thing. Well, I'm um, born and raised in Elizabethtown. I, uh, I spent a lot of my time doing doing the Splatter Tribe website. And uh, I do, I'm, I'm more into songwriting than I am actually in performing these days. I'm, I've really always believed in, in just the art of writing a good song. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of stuff I write myself maybe falls more along the lines of almost on a, a country edge than it does maybe even the rock edge. But I was growing up with rock and metal, so... So it's all got that influence in it. But as far as when I write myself, it's all usually on acoustic. Recently, I've been doing a lot more electric, but it's more just practicing up and getting, because I, I would like to, to start doing some performing with other artists or at least writing with other artists, you know, okay. of any of any genre. I love all styles of music, so it's it uh, there's not any any preference. It's just whatever. It's whatever you have fun writing. And I mean, it, I mean, obviously, songwriting, if you write songs, they're going to fall into a genre all by themselves, too, no matter it's, on how how they get a little too dark and it's a little yeah, no country yeah. doesn't want to deal with it. I mean, you just you just kind of fall into a certain pattern, even if you're just doing acoustic songwriting, you could fall kind of very dark, too. Yeah. What I do in like the songs I'll be playing or whatnot, it wouldn't really fit in with anything, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Country's not going to play it any more than, you know. Right. It's yeah. <laughs> it's 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 borderline i guess it's got the you know a rock attitude but but i you know i love the old country stuff too yeah and but i grew up on you know with with the 80s metal so yeah so it's uh it's putting that influence in it you know you grew up with mtv unplugged so there you had metal songs and people were doing it unplugged it wasn't it maybe was thought of as almost country before they started doing it and then it became its own thing you know the unplugged thing and that's that's just me personally. If I'm doing it myself, that's what I do. I, I, you know, if I write, I'm usually on acoustic, because if if I'm on electric, it's hard to it's hard to write with an electric. I don't know. All right. It's hard well, to sing along with it. And... Let's talk about this first song, uh, "Rusty Fences." Rusty Fences is that is a perfect example of what I'm talking about with songwriting. I've had this song probably about ten years, and uh, I never. I've went through so many different, you know, different melodies for it. I've never had a melody that I liked. And just this past year, I pulled it back out again. It's 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 a personal song. It's got a lot. It's real life. You know, it's got to do with loss. It's got to do with dealing with loss. You know, as far as me, as, you know, younger and, and going through the the pains of life. Mm-hmm. And it's got to do with, uh, you know, also when you get to that point, do you need to leave out of this this area? You know, do you need to leave out of the heartland to get anything accomplished? Because you see people here, you see bad things happen to people here. But, you know, people leave and, and nothing happens either. So that song, anyway, and it, it's got many different meanings, I guess. But just this past year, I pulled it out. And I actually had, there's this band called Georgia Overdrive. They were actually called Rebel State. They're from Sweden. They're a southern rock band. I pulled it out to give to them because it, it would be something that they could play. And I was like, man, you all take this and just finish it. I don't care what you do with it. And I never heard back from him at the time when we were good right. buddies. So I didn't know if he didn't like it or what. So I decided to pull it out, and finally, one night playing, I come up with the last verse, and that's the verse that I always, for years, had just went back and forth with, and it put it together, and then I just come up with a simple three chords. If two chords is good, three's better, and you're not going to get more than three out of that song. You know, yeah. All it's, right. it's just a simple song, but but it also deals with, um, you know, it's talking about just being proud of the heartland, and you know, you got you got television dealing with uh, it, it kind of. I guess in this area or just the heartland of America, we sometimes get ignored or we even, you know, we're even uh, looked down upon, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it's got to do with uh, the fact that Jersey and California and I love, you know, I'm an American, but they don't have anything to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make me, you know, it don't do nothing in my life. And it's got to do with what is around here. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot face, faster paced life. A lot of that. You look at the East Coast or you look at the West Coast and you just look at the heartland and it's it's different living out where you get out into the country occasionally and go have a bonfire and roast some marshmallows it's all yeah, a little bit different and, and <laughs> yeah. you got your own you know everybody here's got their own problems too and yeah everybody's sure. got their problems there too but it's more just got to do with the whole the media perception i guess and it's just talking about being proud from being being in the heartland but doing it and trying to do it in a non-corny way okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying well let's check it out it's louis brangers it's rusty fences it's locals only, Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 107.3 The Point. 
Well, I heard the news today That old bastard done went and passed away And said a while not understanding a thing How they could mean so little Till that fateful day See, we both had views that neither could understand And compromise wasn't in the plan But you know he died Such a bitter old man Paying the price for living his life In this hard land It remind me of a story I've heard all my life About a young man, his kids and his wife And you know the old story seemed to hit home more each time About a future that seems so bright And you know they had so many plans But his hourglass was losing sand Cause fate in the mind took the life of that man Set the price for one to lie In this hard land Well I said, hi damn I'm in this hard land Staring at rusty fences with a bottle in my hand I said, hi damn I'm in this hard land We're the ones that they forget about And they expect us to understand Well, I went to play some music just today And my buddy had a bad look on his face Seems a bullet done took our friend away those kind of situations, man, what can you say? Maybe a life is just too damn plain. He was where he wanted to be, and that made it hard to understand. But who did what and what happened to my friend? Is that the price you pay for trying to get away from this hard land? Push me to a friend who's been there before Well, he lost his daddy the world for Well, a dreamer always needs a little more And he can't fight a battle in another man's war Cause life, it has its own plans it Leaves you with answers hard to understand Fly, my brother, it's hard to land And what's in store when you want more Then it's hard to land Well, I said, hi, Dan I'm in this hard land Staring at rusty fences with a bottle in my hand I said, hi, Dan I'm in this hard land Where the ones that they forget about and they expect us to understand But the older you get The more you gotta say goodbye and Sometimes you understand and Other times you won't know why but all you can do is keep moving forward in your own life And fight your fights every time that you gotta fight So raise a toast to the lost and to all the empty hands With no one to hold them and doing the best they can and Raise a toast to those that just don't understand That you got no heart if you got no heart Get a 
about And F them if they don't understand 